What is up everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of Fire Emblem Three Houses. In the last episode we did some exploration for the month of November. Uh, and now we're going to be taking on two of the Paralogs in this episode. We'll be taking on Tales of the Red Canyon and Land of the Golden Deer. Uh, in this episode. And the next episode we'll take on the mission of this month. And then... And then uh, next month, uh, December, we'll take on Death Toll and Oil, Oil and Water. And then January, we'll take on Sword, Sword, Sword and Shield of Saros. So that's going to be fun. So without further ado, Tales of the Red Canyon, Sothis has a request for you, Byleth. At her, his, at her insistence, you travel alone to the Red Canyon, followed by curious students. Let's do it. I remember this one. This one, this one can be hard. This one can, this one can be hard. If you, don't, if you don't go about it the right way. Hmm. What was that name again? What's on your mind? This is frustrating me to no end. I simply can't recall. Oh, I have it. Xanado. The Red Canyon? That's it. It was not long ago that we were there. And still, I somehow managed to forget. What about it? Well, that place brought back some fragments of my memory. I cannot help but wonder why. I feel we must return to find some answers there. Let's go. Let's do it. Yes, you are right. For as the saying goes, there is no time like the present. Huh. Where's our professor going all alone like that? I hate not knowing what's going on. Okay, that's it. Let's gather the others and get to the bottom of this. You want to follow our teacher? What I gotta say, Claude is, def is definitely one of my favorite characters. What? I guess I'm dying of curiosity, too. It's just there's something yes. about him. It is all coming back to me. This structure. Oh, but it's as though my memories are clouded. The most important pieces are obscured. But I once called this home. I have no doubt. I seem to. Claude seems like the type you invite for a barbecue. I know, right? He really does. Like, I would definitely invite this guy out for a barbecue. For barbecue. Whenever I, whenever I have my own place and I decide to have a barbecue, you know who I'm inviting. The voice actor of Claude. <laughs> Since, you know, I can't actually invite an animated character. Contrast the character models with the background texture. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know, man. I think I think the developers focus more on like the story and the characters rather than the background. <clears throat> I don't know why, man. Who all do we want to bring? You see, this is where it gets hard because not to not have so many characters, I have to like decide who I want to bring in now. Like, I want to bring in Cyril, but I don't want to get rid of Hilda or like, Raffi. Hmm. Like, I don't want to get rid of. I don't want to get rid of any of these characters. Gosh. We're gonna go ahead and just make. No one needs learns. But he, he he can be good though. He can be good. I do want to bring I do want to bring in Shamir though. We're gonna make we're actually gonna go ahead and set Cyril as an adjutant adjutant for a, 
uh, Bio tier one for the experience and two for uh, the potential level ups that he may possibly, potentially, possibly maybe get. Uh, so let's go. What is it now? Those hungry wolves. That howl must have riled them up. We have no choice but to fight our way out. Give it your all. Bio the Claude falls in battle. Goodness. It was a right move for us to follow Teach. But however you look at it, we're in a tough spot now. Wolves, hawks, not to mention a demonic beast guarding the canyon's entrance. Oh, we should never have come here. Don't say that. But what's a demonic beast doing here? Is it a stray? Even Teach would have trouble out here all alone. Let's help out before we're down one professor. Alrighty. First things first. We need to reunite with Teach. Hurry up, everyone. That's the plan. We're just gonna go straight. We're just gonna bring everybody towards Biolith here. I got this. Who, me? To work. Got a combat art. It's a heavy draw. Ah, it's monster blast. Here we go. That is good, though. Ready and willing. Alrighty. Lelame <laughs> unto death. Oof. We got we got to break we got to break the little defenses here to actually do damage. That's the best best way we can actually be able to do stuff, do anything against him. See, that's a lot better. We'll go ahead and do this. Gambit. Break off the uh, barriers here. Like uh, to be honest, I do kind of have a thing for for Shamir too. Also, just look at, just look at what she wears too. <laughs> I don't know something about it. Okay. Hopefully, we can get a crit. No, that's fine. <laughs> Alrighty, that's one thing down. Ready anytime. Break shot. Maybe we can get a crit off? Possibly. No. There goes my cat's meowing. I'm on it. Oh no, you have drawback. Never mind. Ooh, but actually, if we do, if I do this, if I do the comet art, drawback you. There we go. Perfect. There we go. And we get a level up for Hilda here. Not bad. Ooh, dang, that was a good level up. Heck yeah. All right, that's one down. We're gonna reunite everybody together, so. We'll just equip to Killing Edge for the time being. Leave it to me. That's fine. All right, we should be good. Predictable. Predictable. Heck yeah. There we go. Perfect. All right, again. Hmm. 
We're just going to go ahead and go with the... Let's go with the Helm Splitter here. Because I don't want to use all the Gambits at once. Go. Ooh, first level twenty, and that's and that's Byleth. Nice. Such power dwells within. Ooh, not bad. can attack from here? I don't know why, I just love the Awakening style Killing Edge. I like it too. Uh, I mean, they're not different. How, are they different? Are they different in any type of way? I'm not too sure. They really look like a, a Killing Edge. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just... I could try to get the crit... Who actually... Actually, thank you. I owe you one. No, never mind. We're good. We are good. All righty. Not bad. Let's go blizzard here. Nice. Like the edge would kill you. Yeah, this one doesn't look as doesn't look as as scary like. Okay, let's go ahead and bring them towards Leone. Now let's, let's keep the steel belt equipped. Get that EXP. That should be good. Some red handle katana. So yeah, I think they're gonna wait. They're gonna wait for us to go their way. Yeah, because this is the boss here. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and just get rid of this guy. No, we should be good. Let's go ahead and just bring everybody back a little bit. Nope, not what I wanted. I was hoping for a crit. Hey, Tamir got the crit though. Yeah, there we go. Oh, 16. This will make the job easier. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and just maybe get a crit off. No, because I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste the uh, edge. This this will do. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at that, man. Look at that. 42, 36, damn. There we go. So remember Long Q. Ooh, Long, Long Q was so good. Long Q was actually one of my favorite characters. Well, his attitude not so much, but everything else I liked a lot about him. Thanks for that. Okay. Okay. Well, I need to move. 
that rusted lance. You gotta stop moving? Here we go. Okay. Oh, and the reinforcements, man. Ugh. Great, more hawks. Those feathery jerks are trying to take us out from both sides. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna go back this way, meet up with everybody else. <clears throat> Not gonna waste my time with them. Go ahead and bring <clears throat> bring Marianne back. Put the hand axe here. Claude, Claude should be able to take a hit. Do you have a vulnerary by chance? No, you don't. Okay. Um, in that case, let's go ahead and do that. And we sh and this should be good. Pairing him with pa with Pine was so fun because Assassin afraid of women, Maniki, who hate humans. They were a really good pair. I actually, I actually got, I actually got them married in the game. Okay, that should be good. Claude, you should be good. I'm not, I'm not really worried about you. <clears throat> Going to equip the mini bow here. There's a chest, but oh well. Well, not bad. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Couples in Awakening were mass weapons. They were. They're really, really good. I enjoyed it. Okay. I know pretty much anybody here can take can tank a hit. Can tank at least one hit. We can even pair up system in a net nutshell. Okay, I, don't, I honestly don't understand why she meows so much, because, like, I don't know. I just I just don't understand why. Um, killing it, she, she could get a crit. Um, grounder. Can we use Grounder with the Killing Edge? We can. And this would pro if she, if she gets this crit, it will kill. And then she will be able to take a hit from the other guy. Let's try it. Aw, oh, no crit. Come on, man. I was hoping for a crit. Okay, yeah, that's not going to work. She didn't get the crit, so that's def definitely not going to work. Who, me? She'll definitely die pretty pretty quickly. Do I have anything that would be super effective against it? Oh, ooh, the gauntlets will do. Nice. 
Okay. Ready and willing. Do some damage against this guy. Careful of your range. You're gonna go after Marianne. Of course you are. That's fine. She can she can take a hit and then I can use Lysithia and, and Ignox to heal to heal her after this next this next turn because I'm pretty sure we pretty sure we can get rid of this guy in, in this next turn so I'm not really too worried. Hey, now she gets a crit. Nice. Cool. Good job, Marianne. Alrighty. Do you have the training bow here? Let's go and do it. Nice crit with a 5% chance. Let's go, Leone. Let's go. Let's go. Alrighty. You're amazing. Alrighty, um now we can start going up against Ready going up against time. these guys right here. Since this guy's gonna it's gonna take a little bit to get get to us, we can just go ahead and start focusing on, on these guys back here so they don't bother us too much. Monster Blast. Maybe we get a crit? No. That's fine. That's fine. Man. It's probably, she probably gets better with it, like, after. After the, uh... After the fact, rather. Oh my gosh, that's, that's just me eye on my door. These cats are so annoying, I swear. Alrighty, what's your range here? Okay, so if we can get rid of this of this guy, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure the Scythia can tank a hit from it. So I'm not really too, too worried. Stay focused. So I'm going to go ahead and... I, I can't use... Can you attack from here? No, you can't. Um, but we... You should be able to attack from there, right? Yeah. Perfect. This should do. Alright, break shot. Alright, almost almost leveled up for him. And then we got Lysithia. She's gonna die. Oh, actually, what if I do this? I mean, this is this is going this is going to be a waste of a. Actually, hey, hey. hold on. Thanks for that. Actually, you know what? No, we're not gonna let that happen. We're good. Hey, I got an idea. <laughs> they only know certain the internet memes. There we go. We can bring. I'm on it. Sylvain this way. Let's bring, let's bring Sylvain this way. No, 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 not, not draw back. Oh, you can't even attack. Never mind. You have curve shots, so you should be able to. No, you don't, actually. Huh. Kind of sucks. That's fine. But you do. You do, though. Oh, mini bow will kill though. Oh, not kill, but it'll take it'll take down a health a health bar. Alrighty, nice. Yeah, there we go. That should be fine. Now I'm, then I'll bring Violet this way, and then they'll be able to handle it from there. I'm not worried. I'm not worried about them anymore. Um, how many health bars do you have? You have three. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring these guys on over we should be good all right
Mini build a lot better. Okay. It was a good try. Nice. Got all that support. Now we can bring everybody this way to help Violets out. So let's actually let's win this all use all the gambits in the world. This guy's quite tough, so. Nice, we broke we broke off the armor. And now I don't think it'll, I don't actually don't think it's gonna attack this turn yet, yeah, well, since it can. It's too weak. Let's go ahead and use Ignatz to heal up Marianne here. And get a level up for Ignatz, it's not bad. I'll try even harder next time. Alrighty. Get a bit more healing on Marianne then, why not? Just for the extra XP EXP. Go. Oh, another level up for Leone. Nice. We should be level twenty by the t by by this month's mission. P hopefully, this guy's not going to attack. Seriously. More hawks. The air swarming with those feathered freaks. Let's get them before we fight the beast. That's fine. What's the, what's the, what's the conditions? Defeat the enemy commander. We're fine. We'll we'll be able to beat the, we'll be able to beat this guy this turn. So I'm not so I'm not worried. Come on, Marianne. There we go, Marianne. This is where it all begins with that eleven sword. Nice level up for you. Let me just kill the boss. It's the objective, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what that's what we're doing. Alrighty. You can get the damage off off with your monster blast. What she's going she's going to she's going to get a crit. She's going to get a crit. Knew it. Not bad. One, one, one. The triple ones. Nice. And a level up for Shamir. I'll grow as strong as I can. That was amazing. Nice. Our work is done. My, my. Things did not go as planned. Let us return before any more hawks or wolves join us. But what was that demonic beast doing within the Red Canyon? That was not bad. That was not a bad fight. Leone DMVP. Nice. Renown increased. We didn't really get much motivation out of it for other for other characters other than uh uh Leone, but that should be fine. Oh uh, yeah. Listen, teach. No one likes aimless wandering more than me, but it's not worth dying over. Well, we're all okay now. So let's just focus on the positive. Oh, maybe we can tell folks back at the monastery that we came here for battle training, with our dear professor's permission. Hilda, <laughs> you scamp. No one has a knack for getting out of trouble quite like you do. It is a gift, milady. 
Oh, is that right? Well, no one can get into trouble quite like you, so it works out. <laughs> wow. Oh dear. I put us in a bit of danger there. <laughs> We are most fortunate that those delinquents followed us. You very nearly met your end. <laughs> what a marvelous professor you must be for all your students to be so concerned. Proud of us. Hmm. You seem more confident in your ability to teach. But that makes sense, as you have me to help you out. <sighs> How disappointing to have dived so deeply into danger, and yet to have nothing to show. Huh? What is this strange feeling? My memories. Do you feel them stirring? How curious. You seem to have grown stronger. And all thanks to our journey to Xanado. So has you almost killed us. <laughs> Come on, Sothis. Huh? You found this? I dare say you may find a use for that. You should decide how best to use that thing. But wow, we got a lot out of this trip. It was a bother for a spell, but in the end, I feel we should think fondly of our little trip. We actually had a delightful time, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Divine Pulse Maximum is increased. Nice. Umbral Steel. Not bad. Oh, we still we still got time in this episode for another paralogue, so we're gonna go ahead and do another paralogue. And then I'll be cutting out some I'll be cutting out some of it, so it won't be, it won't be too too long of an episode, so I'm not too too worried about going over an, a potential hour, but I don't think it will be. I don't think it will since the uh, recommended level for this next paralogue is thirteen. That the one that we did, just did was like fifteen. So we should be fine. Again, we didn't really get that much. We didn't really get that much motivation out of this one. Um, so we will use the ones we can. Bring it to B rank. Lance breaker. Yes, yeah, not bad. Might actually, I might actually have you use that. Let's give you some more authority here. That was nice. Another paradox seems a lot. I, 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 I'm pretty sure. I think I'll be fine. I'm not really too worried. Let's actually get you some more reason here. Maybe I and it will put a bit more into authority, why not? Oh, Leone. Leone, you definitely need more authority. You can make very, you can make very good use of gambits. Okay. It's not really anybody else I can use it on. Oh, some you actually. Give, some, give you some more authority as well. I'm not, I'm not really gonna have her do, try anything else. I'm gonna keep let her keep what she has right now. Anna, Hanuman, sure, we'll do Flane. Flane's like, Flane can actually be pretty good with with magic, so who knows? Maybe we will maybe we'll use her sometime. I don't know. We'll see. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and begin to lecture. Teach. Focus on bone flying. Focus on sword and authority skills to excel as a lord. Really, you want to do that? Sure. Sure. That'd be pretty nice. Holy Kingdom of Fargus founding day. Sure. This dish. It was my father's favorite. This is a wonderful dish. You could sell this in any restaurant in the capital. Nice. Ooh, almost at that C plus rank. We did okay. Nice. 
Okay, that was a good one. Huh. I'm actually pretty good at this. I'm really getting the hang of this. Looks like I'm getting There we go. There you're getting all that you're getting all a good amount of authority now, which is which is what we really need cuz cuz gambits are really really good. They're really really good to have. Um so uh, that's really really good. And Claw wanting to focus on sword and authority to excel as a lord, that's actually really interesting. Um but and I don't mind that because he's he's already at rank B and he, I think he's already at rank, like probably like rank C. Maybe is it rank C? It might be rank C. Marianne's birthday. Sure, let's host a tea. Uh, no, no, let's just give her flowers. Cause my I don't I'd rather give her some support rather than none. <laughs> okay, we, we do. Ooh, whoa, we have quite a bit of supports actually. Ooh, we, two of them are gonna be maxing out though. Okay. Do they have exclusive character skills? I think so. I believe so. Actually, uh, let's see. So he, he is an archer right now. What 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 is his what is his stuff at though? Uh, let's see. We're gonna check real quick. Um. Oh my gosh. I, I hate these cats so much. They're so annoying. Uh, bows at B. Uh. Axe is at C plus. Yeah, that's good. That's good enough. So sword and authority is actually good. It's actually a good one. And ain't Claude like super strong with the bow? With the bow, he is. He is really strong with the bow. I might, I might just change it back to sword and sword and bow. I might just change it to sword and bow rather than axe and bow, because he's already at C plus rank with the axe anyway. So he 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 still he still he'll still do pretty well with an with an axe. Um, so not really worried about him too too much. Uh, let's do a couple of these supports, and then we'll take on the next paralog in the next episode. Because I just because I I'd rather do some of these supports now than do than do them at the beginning of the episode. So let's go ahead and do Claude and Raffi. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh my gosh, these cats, man! I'm trying to like I'm trying to like not get their meows and on 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 uh on recording, but it's kind of hard because they their meows are so loud. It's almost like this stuff is drawn to me whenever I'm in town. I'm just happy I can use my muscles to help out around here. But isn't your goal to become a knight? Running errands isn't exactly a knight's job. I heard that proper knights always help those in need. Isn't that right? Well, you're not wrong, but I think most people would consider that only a small part of a knight's duty. A knight's main function is to fight and defend, don't you think? That said, I'll agree that helping anyone and everyone who needs it makes you a remarkably virtuous person, which is even better. If someone virtuous becomes a knight, they'll be a virtuous knight, right? That's about as proper as you can get. I... yes, I suppose so. <laughs> I, for one, would certainly look for yeah. <laughs> any knight that I recruited. Oh my so gosh, these cats, man. the type of knight you want to hire for House Regan? Absolutely. If I somehow actually manage to become the head of my house, that is. I can't see into the future, but you have my word that I'll do all I can to help make your dream a reality. That is, if you're actually able to let somebody help you out rather than helping out the whole world by yourself. I'm not going to stop helping others, but you can do me all the favors you want. All this talk of being proper... Actually, are super interesting. For my first the main characters make me feel like the supports aren't that interesting, but the... It's just, I guess it just kind of depends. Marianne Leone. Oh, I really like Marianne. this sound, this uh, soundtrack, um, uh, especially this this one right here, I this song right here. House duty was mine today. What are you doing here? Oh, I, uh, I'm sorry. You've been avoiding me ever since I lost my temper, haven't you? You're probably scared of me now. In the moment, I was hurt. I'm sure you had good reasons to act the way you did. If you want me to leave you alone, I will. I promise, you've got nothing to fear from me. Leone, I... I've watered all the plants, so I'm done here. I'll get out of your way. Wait! Huh? Hey, what is it? It's, um... I don't mean to bother you. I'm sorry for keeping you here. 
<laughs> no, not at all. Thanks for keeping me. Honestly, I've been worried about you. If you ever want to talk about anything, just say so. I'll make time. I've been avoiding people for most of my life, so I'm not the best at speaking. I know it's hard. You've been through a lot. But it's worth the extra effort to talk to your friends. I make everyone uncomfortable. I just don't know how to carry on a conversation. Hey, we're having one right now. And I'm telling you, I'm not uncomfortable. I'm actually really happy. Aww. So don't worry about me. And it's okay to be quiet sometimes. But try to find a middle ground at least. Otherwise, you'll never get any better. Oh. As far as what to talk about, anything's good. Hobbies, things you like. Silence. you had last night. Really, anything. Okay, then. I, um... I like this flower. I think it's nice. I think so, too. Did you know that where I come from, those have a completely different color? Oh, really? I'd like to see that. Great. Come visit my village someday. In fact, we should invite all of our friends. It'll be fun. Oh, yes. Aww. That would be very exciting. I like I like that one. That was really nice. That was really that was really really nice. And we got uh, Marianne Sylvain, maxing out theirs. Hello, Marianne. Continually concerned you'll you'll fall asleep head first into the table. Why? Won't you at least tell me why you're avoiding me? It hurts. It really does. I'm not avoiding you. I'm just not very good at talking to people in general. I told you I'm on your side, and I meant it. I'm guessing you don't much like talking about crests. Call it a hunch. Well, um. He seems sleepy. Oh no, same way, no. You know. I was, I was, I was really admiring that uh, you know support just there because that, that was really, really nice dancing. support. It's not fair to have your worth determined by something you can't control. Growing up in House Gautier taught me that the hard way. What do you believe determines a person's value? I like to think it's a person's smile. Like the fi the final supports with with everybody's always really really really, really sweet. Who someone is? Are they fake? And then do worse the Oscar. Also makes you feel stronger when you smile. My smile helps me focus and set free all. I mean, just pull my ass. Hmm. I wonder. Try it out, Marianne. Be strong-willed and put everything you've got into your smile. No, I, I actually I actually really like the supports. I really like the supports. I like the little. No mini stories that are within the support. That's a terrific first try, if a bit stiff. Lift the corners of your lips just a bit. Oh, I know. Try saying cheese. Cheese? Hey, that was good. It might feel a bit unnatural, but you'll get used to it soon enough. Cheese. No. Are you sure this will make me stronger? Guaranteed. It's a great smile, you know. Let's go to town and show it off. If you lift your eyes from the ground, you'll see that the world has all sorts of amazing things to offer. The more you realize that, the more you'll smile. I'll think about it. Please, don't let me pressure you. If you don't want to go, I understand. It's not that I don't like going into town. I'm just eager to get back to my room. I want to go practice my smile. If I keep practicing, Maybe someday I'll be ready to go into town with you. Oh yeah? That sounds great. I can't wait to see your best smile. Aw, I like that. Alright, we got Hilda and Leone maxing out theirs as well. Hey Hilda. You said you're Maxing a smile sounds terrifying. Whoa. What's with all these expensive necklaces? Why do you have them all laid out like that? Pretty, right? I'll let you choose whichever you like. Huh? Why would you do that? Just choose. I want you to have one. I'm not going to accept a gift like that without a reason. Even with a reason, I'd probably decline. Look how gorgeous they are, though. Wearing beautiful things gives you energy. Maybe for you. Yes, for me. Why would it be any different for you? Because to me, those are just fancy decorations. Take this one, for example. How did you come by it? This was the first necklace I picked out for myself. It doesn't suit my style nowadays, so I don't often wear it. 
That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. The sentimental value of each one. These necklaces are nice and all, but I don't have any special feelings or memories about any of them. But this charm, it's packed with things I don't want to forget. Captain Gerald's teachings and a lot of memories, too. Even if to you, it's just a dirty hunk of wood. Hmm, I do understand. But still, you're not going to be very popular with the boys if you keep wearing that dirty old thing. <laughs> like I care about that. You can drop the whole stony face to act. Come on, I'm offering to help you here. I could even make a charm for you as a gift. If you're really hung up on sentimental value. Make a charm for me? You do that? Sure, why not? I don't want you to be alone your whole life. Besides, this happens to be a talent of mine. It'll be Is it now? Really, really cute. <laughs> She's so way more loved by the boys than you. Sure. I can't just accept a gift for nothing though. <laughs> It'll I'll be you silly. You She's way more loved by the boys than you. And I'll put plenty of feeling in True. So when we exchange them, it will really mean something. Oh, that sounds lovely. I'll gladly teach you how, but Make me something cute, okay? I'll see what I can do. Alright. Cuckoo. Do we have one more? Hilda and Cyril. Hey, Cyril. What are you up to? Working? You're in the way, Hilda. Move. How rude. I'm not in the way. Are you just here to goof off? No, I'm here to feed the horses, actually. Uh-huh. Where's the fodder, then? I wasn't sure where to find it. Can you help with that? I'll take care of it. I'm cleaning the place anyways. Oh, thanks. It's great to have you on the job. I know you'll handle it perfectly. Yeah, well, I don't like it when I feel like I'm not doing my part. You're always so focused on the task at hand. Sometimes I almost forget you're all Myron. I always thought they were a rough and unreliable sort of people. Though you're not really like the rest of them. You seem normal for the most part. Rough and unreliable, huh? My family has to fight against all Myron sometimes. Not that my father or brother ever clued me in on what the battles were like. But I do know that armies from Almira will attack oh, you racist. and break treaties and tell lies. Everyone says they're a bunch of brutes. Yeah, Why we say we should be had the nobility? Am I boring you? I'm talking about your people. Those aren't my people. I was just born there. Hmm. Okay, let's turn the tables. How do the people of Fodland seem to you from an Almiran perspective? Huh. Look on your face. Are you okay? I can't tell you what I think of folks from Fodlin. I don't really got an impression of them altogether. What's that supposed to mean? There's all sorts of different people everywhere. You can't say everybody of one place is any one thing. It's no different when you're talking about Fodlin or Almira or any place else. And wherever you go, you see people in power keep the weak ones down. The only difference, far as I'm concerned, is one place has Lady Rhea, and the other don't. Alrighty. Leaders are all support, yep. Alright. For y'all on YouTube, that's actually going to end off this episode of Fire Emblem Three Houses. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button. Comment down below any tips or tricks you may have for the game. It really helps me out, and it's truly appreciated. In the next episode, we'll go ahead and take on the next... Uh, the next paralogue, which is going to be... Land of the Golden Deer. Lawrence receives a letter from his father, Count Gloucester, who wishes for his son to resolve a territorial dispute that is about to escalate to violence. And this is where Lorenz will get his uh, hero's relic. So that's going to be exciting. So yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. And I'll see y'all in next episode.